Hi guys, so today I'm gonna to be reviewing or trying out the Crosley Cruiser Deluxe. I picked this up on HSN and, oh, there I go, dropping it. Um, okay, so first of all, a lot of people say this is just a toy. It's basically, you know, as good as the little ones that you used to use back in the day if you were old enough to use records, which I was. Actually, after I started looking at this, I thought, oh my gosh, I totally remember that. Like, with the little ones or the bigger ones, we had to put a little disc in the middle. It was like a little plastic disc thing so that it would work because otherwise you have it like a little hole and like all these different things that started coming to mind. I'm like, oh my gosh, my parents had one of those huge, I don't even know what they call them anymore. I don't even know what they were called back in the day, but it had an A-track player, it had a radio, and I think it was only AM, if I'm not mistaken, and then it had a turntable, or your uh, record player. It was like a big console, I guess is what they call it, and it had huge speakers, right, built in, so it's this big wood thing, and you'd open it up, I don't know if you guys remember those, but um, it played great, obviously it had huge speakers, but um, I did get this on HSN, it's $69.99, I think it's still $69.99, so again, um, if you're looking for something super fancy, this is not it, okay, this is, just basic. Um, in the previous editions, it looks like they used to include um, some more of the uh, styluses or the needle, whatever you want to call it, but this one only comes with the one that's in it. So I already kind of opened it and looked in here. So I was like, well, instead of giving you more value, they give you less even, because before at least it came with some extra needles. But so this is the one I got the little like tweed houndstooth. I don't know. My daughter's walking around back here. Sorry, guys. So it came again, I ordered it from HSN, but I think it came directly from Crosley. Um, or at least some kind of warehouse because it came in that box and it didn't have the HSN information. I do have some really old Disney records that my family always collected and we always remember listening to those and I love them. So I do not want to use those in here in case it does tear up my, um, my records. So I went to the Goodwill this morning and of course, 99 cents each record. And I just picked up some, obviously they didn't have anything like amazing right people always buy those up so it was just basic stuff Tchaikovsky uh, maybe some Beethoven um, the Nutcracker soundtrack I don't know there's all kinds of different things Liberace oh so I got a few different things um, I did buy some big albums like this Bing Crosby one it was $3.99 it was a Regis Digest special they never even opened it so that should be good to go we shouldn't have any scratches and this one, even though I was like, what is this? A salute to American music. It's actually pretty cool. When I opened it up, it was $5.99 for the whole thing. And, um, and it has a bunch of music, like some contemporary stuff, well, for the time. And then some old stuff. So, you know, like jazz kind of music, Roaring Twenties from the golden ages of Hollywood musicals. It has a lot of fun things on there. So I was really surprised by that. So I went ahead and grabbed that because it was in really great shape. So, um... Just real quick for the viewers that usually watch this because they watch my channel. Uh, I am upstairs in what my husband, well, it was already here when we purchased the house. It has a pool table. I'm just here at the pool table. That's literally all we have in here. I mean, no, just see these other pieces of furniture, but that's my room way in the back there. That's my daughter's little bedroom. And so just showing you around because I know you guys haven't seen much. Dorian's room and Diego's room is around the corner. So I'm upstairs. I don't know how the acoustics sound in here right now or anything else, but let me see if I can set this back up so you guys can see what's going on. All right, hopefully that's okay. Okay, so I'm gonna open this up. Like I said, this is not, oh, you know, this thing's gonna be amazing. I mean, I know what I'm expecting from it, but hopefully it's just a good little machine that, you know, it'd be fun to play with. I really, I got this for my daughter because I don't think my kids are gonna care, but my little daughter, same way I love my Disney music when I was younger, I think she will too. Oh, this was also in another plastic bag, but I guess, Wait, yeah. But like I said, I just took a peek just to kind of see what was going on in here. So there's some turntable instruction manual. You have this little mat. It's like a little rubber or foamy mat that goes on the turntable. We'll talk about that in a minute. Some warranty information. Uh, what's good about HSN, well, it depends on when you're watching this. Oh, on the very top there was the plug. So it does say portable because you can you know, carry it, but you need to have electricity if you're gonna be using it. So let me put this down and open this up. And actually the plastic is only on one side. So like I said, the whole thing was wrapped before. It has two little speakers that come out here in the front. And when you open it up, you have all your stuff here. I'll just I'll take that off. It says Crosley, you have your turntable. There's a video and I'm gonna link him here because the man is really awesome and he was great in explaining everything and really sweet guy, seems like. Um, he did not use the rubber mat, which I'm gonna use because sometimes if you're, record is a little bit warped this kind of helps grab onto it and kind of keep it steady 
especially nowadays because they're so old, but like, unless you obviously buy new stereos or um, new records because they do have new records that are being made all the time. I'm gonna put this face up, but I'm gonna have to see and read in just a second if it's supposed to be up or down. And these little grippers, I don't know if they're supposed to grip this area or just be up. So I will check that out. Um, you have your arm here. I'm gonna go ahead and take off this piece so that you can actually use it. Um, it does have a little adapter. Like I said, if you have records where that has a huge hole in the center, if you know about records, you'll know that you'll need something like this. So what's cool is this is already here. It's built in as far as that it's here on board. So if you need it, you have it. If you don't need it, you don't need it. So I'll show you that in a minute. You have your arm here. This little lever, I believe, raises the arm, but hmm. Oh, well, it's just, there's a little tiny latch here that you're gonna open up just so it's free. And then you can use this little lever to raise your arm. But let me put that back. Ooh, that's scary. Okay. You have Bluetooth capability, meaning you can send your music from your phone or whatever device to this as a speaker. So they said these aren't the loudest speakers, so maybe that's not like the best, oh, I really need to do that. But if you do, you pair it once, you know, just like you do any Bluetooth thing, and every other time it'll just find it when you go to Bluetooth. Um, there's a pitch uh, dial here, and that kind of has to do with, as you listen to the music, does it sound kind of funky, like a little slow? maybe too fast like a chipmunk, so you're gonna mess with the pitch to slow it down or speed it up and you'll find your right, hopefully your right uh, mix there. The volume, which is also your on and off, so if you heard it click, that turns on and off. Headphone jack, so you can listen to into your headphones. And there's a little plastic cover on here. You can order more styluses on crosley.com. I'm not sure if it's just crosley.com or crosleymusic.com. I think it might be crosleyradio.com. I don't remember what I looked up, but. They're 15 bucks right now at $14.95. You can also find them on Amazon for like $7 and up. So it just depends. Supposedly you want a diamond tip. I don't know what's on here right now because before they would send it, sell it with just a regular old tip, but then it would come with a couple other tips or styluses or needles, whatever you want to call it. So now it doesn't. So I'm hoping it just comes with a diamond tip to begin with because even on their site, you can't buy anything but a diamond tip. So hopefully that's the case. So I'm going to remove this little plastic shield that exposes your little needle stylus down there. I don't want to pull it too high. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and read this just because, like I said, I want to see if I'm supposed to have this rubber mat up or down. And then I'm going to also plug this in in the back. Oh, that's another, and you know what? This used to also come with cables. See, I'm telling you, it's cheaper, <laughs> but they include less things. It used to come with the little cables that you would use back here to hook it up to something else. Like if you wanted this to go out to another set of speakers or something else, you could hook them here, which you know, I have tons of these laying around, but still it kind of makes me upset that they're like, oh, we don't need that. And we don't need to include another stylus either. Okay, whatever. So this guy goes into the power jack, which is over here, and then obviously into the wall. So when I come back, I'm gonna have that plugged into the wall and I'll select a record and I'll know about if this little rubber mat needs to be up or down. Okay guys, I had to change my angle a little bit so I can get this to the plug without having to get an extension. It's a really nice long cord, but I'm still kind of far from the wall. Obviously there's a pool table. You don't want it <laughs> too close to the wall. You're gonna hit something. So I went ahead and grabbed this. The other thing I wanted to say about this little machine is that it will play records 33 and a third or 33 as they call them, 45s and 78s, right? And it has to do with the revolutions per minute, I suppose, or whatever it is. And so anyway, it'll do all of them, but that also has to do with the needle too. That's what people were, you know, recommending or talking about. So look into that. I am not the person that can answer all those questions, but like I said, I'm gonna have a link to that one gentleman's video that's really great. He's a really nice guy, it sounds like. So right now it's on 33. This is where you would select if you want it, 33, 45, or 78. It's gonna go faster if you go with the higher numbers, right? Normally these things tell you on here like 78 or 33, and this does not, and I'm assuming it's gonna be like a 33 or 45 because it's kind of older. I don't know if that makes sense. Um, this is really crazy because it should say it on there. So anyway, I just chose this one because Tchaikovsky's Greatest Hits, Volume One. And you know, when I went to the store, I just kind of looked at them to make sure they weren't too scratched up. Sometimes you can get away with a couple scratches, but like, like I can see there's like a big line right here. I don't know if you can see that, but we will see. So, and also there are cleaners that you can get to help clean your records, but I'm going to put this on here. It did not say if the rubber mat needs to be up or down as far as the grooves or the other side. So I'm gonna put the grooves up. One other thing I do wanna mention is that you wanna make sure nothing is bothering this top of the um, record player. If it's even up a little bit like this, it might touch your record and then it sounds like 
slow or weird and that's because it's not touching where it's supposed to, all right? So make sure that's completely open. I got it on. I'm gonna turn it on here. The other thing that's on here is the, oh gosh, I forgot what it said. Oh, okay, I know what this is. So basically, I guess if you want to go to your, for it to turn off once it gets to the end of the record um, automatically or you wanna turn it off. And a gentleman had said that the reason you would leave it just to let it keep going is because sometimes some of these players don't want to go to the very end and then you miss the end of the song basically. So if you do the automatic turn off, um, you might miss a little end of some you know music. So otherwise you would just let it keep spinning and then it goes all the way to the, basically to the middle until you want to turn it off. Okay, does that make sense? Hopefully it does. So I'm gonna turn this on. And I'm going to, you can pick up the little arm and you have to bring it over yourself, okay? And then bring it down. And I guess you don't wanna force it down, but just bring it over your, because it does not have that automatic to bring over, which is something that our record players did do towards the end of the, the time we could wanna use them. But here we are. So it has that cute little staticky sound that you know, like record players have. Um, it's on 33 right now. I can show you what it would sound like, but I don't want to mess up the, <laughs> the record but it's on 33 I'm gonna raise this up now if I go to 45 see it sounds weird that's not right and if I go to 78 it'll be even weirder okay it'll be even faster so it's not gonna sound good so this is probably a 33 oh listen -na -na -na. they use that for all the commercials don't they so if you need to change your pitch you can do that here I'm gonna slow it down it does not sound good Right in the middle is there. Which is kind of what I recommend that even wants to click in there. You can have a faster pitch. <laughs> Sounds a little funky. So you can mess with that until you find what you need. Ooh, that sounds, I don't know. Well, I'll put it right back to the middle. This is as loud as it gets right here. Because to me that is really loud. Like just standing here, that, that was too loud for me. I don't like it. But um, hey, I don't know. <laughs> Whatever floats your boat, I guess. Um, I've read other reviews. People are like, I can put it in my kitchen or in my dining room or somewhere like that, and it goes to pretty much the whole house. So I mean, that was loud. But again, I'm up in a loft area. Maybe the acoustics sound different here. But anyway, just want to show it to you guys. I'm gonna keep playing with some different uh, records. I mean, this one sounds okay. As you can see, it's kind of moving like up and down because it's a little bit warped. You want a Mickey Mouse record, huh? I know. We're going to try it out after we get this going. But, um, yeah, it's a little funky. I think I'm going to have to play with this a little bit more. Oh, there we go. Anyway, so thanks for watching, guys. I hope that answers a few of your questions. Obviously, I guess you can pick this thing up, like, in the stores nowadays, and you can find it at, you know, Anthropology if they're still around. Uh, you know, it's just a fun little item, I, you know. If you're a music aficionado and you want some awesome machine, then you're gonna go for that, because this is a very beginning, beginner's fun little record player. So, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you at the next one. Bye now. Bye now. Sorry, just quickly, I want to show you that, see, this one is a 45, but it has a big hole in the middle, so that's when you use your little adapter. I always remember them being like little red plastic things that had like a little swirl design, you can pop them in there. But anyway, all that's gonna do is just kind of hold it in place better for you. And then you're ready to go. And I'm just gonna turn it on, lift my arm, bring it over. This one's a little bit scary because earlier when I did it, see, I left it on the outside. <laughs> Not good. This is Country Mouse. Hello, boys and girls. Here are three Aesop It's a little fables, golden book story. by Patricia Scarry. Isn't that cute? Pictures by oh my Richard goodness, Scarry. we've been having a good time with this thing, so, the stories are, you know, it is what it is, but it's on a 45, house, I put it on 45, the and, and the crow, sounds great. The dog and his bone. Every time you right. hear... Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you at the next one. Bye now. It means to turn the page.